Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to upload a Microsoft Word file to ChatGPT using the code interpreter ChatGPT plugin. Right before I will show an actual example on how to upload a Microsoft Word file to the ChatGPT code interpreter plugin, I just want to let you know that I have a full tutorial on this ChatGPT plugin where I talk about some of the use cases and I also share some of the prompts you can use this plugin with. So if you're interested in more details about this plugin, make sure to check out the article I linked in the description below. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. But now let's see how to use the Code Interpreter plugin to be able to upload and scrape the content and read the content of a Microsoft Word file. So the one thing we have to make sure if we want to upload files to ChatGPT and upload Microsoft Word files is to make sure that the Code Interpreter plugin is enabled. And if you want to enable this plugin, you have to make sure you have a ChatGPT Plus subscription at the time of recording this video. This might change in the future, but currently you have to make sure that this plugin is enabled. If you don't know how to do that, I have another tutorial on my YouTube channel that you can check out. And of course, make sure that GPT-4 is selected because this code interpreter is currently only available with GPT-4. All right, then all we have to do is click on this plus icon here and upload our Microsoft Word file. In this example, I have created a really simple Word file and I have basically copy pasted the famous Bitcoin white paper to Microsoft Word. I didn't really format it or anything else, but let's see if the plugin is able to read the content of this Word document. So all we have to do is once the code interpreter plugin is enabled, we have to click on upload file here and upload the Microsoft Word file by clicking on open. First, of course, selecting the file. And as you can see, the file is being uploaded. Then we have to add the prompt. And all I'm going to do is add the following prompt, summarize the key points of this uploaded Microsoft Word file. So let's see what the plugin will come up with. All we have to do is click on send message here. So as you can see, you don't have to use any kind of function or Python code. If the code interpreter plugin is enabled and you uploaded a file, ChatGPT will know that it has to use the code interpreter plugin and this is what it has done. So if you click on show work here, you can see that using a Python function and the Python library, it was able to read the content of this Microsoft Word document and based on that, it gives us a summary with the key points from the first part of this document. So as you can see, the paper is titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system and is authored by Satoshi Nakamoto. The abstract discusses the concept of purely peer-to-peer -peer version of electronic cash, allowing online payments to be sent directly from one party to another, bypassing financial institutions and some other points as well, as you can read here. And this is a good summary of this Microsoft Word DocX document. So you know this is how to upload Microsoft Word files or any other text file to ChatGPT and analyze the, the content of that document with the code interpreter plugin. As I mentioned, there are many use cases for this code interpreter plugin. You can not only upload Microsoft Word or text files, you can upload PDF files, images, videos, CSV files, Excel files to ChatGPT using this plugin. And then you can also use this plugin to convert images to videos, convert images to text, convert file formats to another file format, and refactor Python codes. And there are so many applications. For this reason, I have a ton of code interpreter tutorials on my YouTube channel that you can check out. More are coming up, so make sure to subscribe. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions, and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.